everybody. Okay, Gloria, Esteban, Nacho Guevara, Charles Casano, Alex Romero, Irina Fomenko for my boots because she's like my <laughs> guest. That, oh, man, those boots are nice. I want to send my love to her. And, of course, Katerina Lankova. And now it's time for you. Thank you for coming. I have a very special guest tonight, very handsome man with a beautiful, exotic, exquisite accent, Narish Kumar. Oh, that's, that's Did I right, say yeah. it right, that's right? Perfect. We wanted, uh, Lorna was the one who brought us together. Yes, yes, she's Lorna. She's a nice lady. She's I, I, yeah, I met Lorna a few, maybe like 10 years ago, I think we met and we, we, you know, we hit it off right away. She's an amazing manager. She has a lot of vision and she's very picky with her talent. That's correct, yeah, very picky. She's very picky with her talent, so I'm more than happy that she brought you here. Thank you for making the time. Thank you very much for having me. Yeah, so this is exciting. You're coming from England. Oh, obviously, you have this exquisite look about you from India, but you were born in England, right? I was born in England, that's correct, yeah. Uh, but basically, you came to New York less than a year ago. Yes, that's correct. Right? Yeah. You want to make a career as an actor here. Yes, I believe that if you can make it in New York, you can make it anywhere. That's right. I was like, look, you see, I can, I can even hear you talking, man. <laughs> I should just zip it and just hear you talking because the <laughs> accent is so exquisite. Let's go back to the beginning. Uh, your, your, your mom and your dad, they're from India, right? Yes, my, my mother's from uh, the north of Punjab in Jalandhar. Okay. And my father's from Chandigarh, and that's the north of India. And they moved to England. Like when they, they were very young, When you they were very young, that's correct, yeah. Okay. And me and my brothers, my other siblings, born and raised in England. And, yeah, we're British, British Indians. British, British Indians. But there's so many Indians in England, too. Yes, there's so many. There's a... Uh, there's actually a place, Southall, which is like quite copious amounts of Indians live there. It's right. Like, it's like, and Wembley, and they call it like Second India. But uh, no, I mean, they're everywhere, to be honest. Yeah. You know? Immigration is, is, a, is a factor. Yeah. It happens it's not everywhere. Really, I think it's, it's amazing that everybody is kind of like amalgamating, you know, right. merging together. Right. And I think that's, that's, that's amazing now. So. Yes, yes. Let's talk about your training, like deciding that, well, obviously you have beautiful looks. You know, obviously modeling is something that it comes easy to you, but why do you decide to become an actor? Well, when did you decide <clears throat> to just say, you know what, this is what I want to do. I want to be an actor. It's a big decision. Yes. You know? uh, honestly speaking, it's like coming from a traditional Indian family, education was a very, very important factor in my life. So okay. my family were like, educate as long as you have a good education. Right. And we don't mind what you're doing. You can do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. So hence, I went to university. I went to college. Right. But then... I was, I was in amateur dramatics. I really loved the theater. Mm -hmm. Growing up as like a child, watching a lot of Bollywood films. Right, watching Bollywood a lot of Holly films. Yeah, watching a lot of uh, Hollywood movies as uh -huh. a child. I was kind of a movie buff. Uh huh. And I just had that kind of urge. I was always a, like a person that we, whenever we go to a family party, I'll be the first one to go on stage and perform. Uh huh. I always had that performance criteria within me. Right. So um, that's always been a part of me. And as I got older, I decided to actually, actually take it seriously. Right. So in my local community, I joined the theater. Okay, nice, nice. And that's, that's where it all began. And you were kind of afraid in the beginning? You were scared? Or you were saying, oh, I honest, can't do this? No, to be honest, no. I was, like, excited, especially with theater. I had such a buzz of a live performance, and I thought, I think I can get used to this. Yeah, it's a nice feeling, right? It's an awesome feeling. The all the Irreplaceable. You can't, yeah. you can't, it's like a drug. Yes, it's a drug, and, and obviously it became, like, I, I was, like, infected with the acting, so I was like, you know what, I want to... I want to pursue this. Right, right. And, and going through your studying and your training. I, in my background, it was theatre. Right. I went to Birmingham School of Acting. Right. I was uh, checking the website last yes, night. Yes, yeah, yeah, in Birmingham. Then um, I also, um, I lived two years in Mumbai. I went to the, Anupam Kera has an acting school called um, The Actor Prepares. Oh, nice. So, so I went there in Mumbai. Okay. And that allowed me to work on a lot of um, Bollywood projects. So I did that and it allowed me the opportunity to learn Hindi as well. So right. I learned another language while I was there. So I did a lot of that, and that was a proper, like, um, the theatrical Kathak uh -huh. dancing, traditional Indian dancing. Uh -huh. And there I did that, then I came, and in New York, I studied the Ted Barding acting studio, which was the Meisner technique. Right. But my background in England was the English technique, and uh, Konstantin uh, Stanislavski, the, right. the method acting. The method acting. Yes, that's correct, yeah. Yeah, but India, I can't imagine. I, I went to see a play last Friday uh, near Baia, taking place in the Lynn Redgrave Theater. Wow. I highly recommend it to everybody who's into acting to go and see that work. It's just exquisite, the actors, the director. Uh, but you have to go and see it, because okay. you're from India, if you are, even though you're from England, 
you have to go and see that place okay. called Nirbaya. Nirbaya. Okay. I don't have, I forgot the, the program, but it's an exquisite production. It's so well done and it's a ritual, wow. literally, basically taking place on stage. But it's so powerful and moving and truthful and beautiful. It's, it's pure poetry. Wow. It's just, I, I highly recommend it. But going to India, like, I can't even imagine how many acting schools they have. Like, can you give us a breakdown? Because I would like to know what's happening in, in India. Mumbai, in obviously, Mumbai, that's uh, Bollywood city. That's where all the Bollywood films and uh, right. are done. And uh, there's Bollywood film city there. And there's so many acting schools there. And everybody there, it's like the, the Indian version of California. I see. Everybody's there saying, I'm a model or I'm an actor. Right. And so everybody wants to be an actor, they everybody go there. Everybody wants to be an actor, yeah. They, wanna, they go to Mumbai. Mumbai, uh, okay. Mumbai or they go to South India for Tamil films. Uh -huh. But Mumbai is like the main, the main hub. Right. And um, yeah, the competition is pretty tough too. Yeah, competition is very tough. And, yeah. Um, but if you're talented, there's, there's so many upcoming um, Indian actors now that have gone mainstream. Right. And, uh, and now I think times are changing and they're, they're actually... Um, going international now right it's not just it's not just within india it's going global right 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 with the slum dog millionaire slum dog millionaire that then, was a phenomenal yes that, that as well and then you got irfan khan he was actually in the movie uh the life of pi yes he was in spider-man yes so it's like it's huge now so yeah i know it's incredible but i, I guess there's a lot of independent filmmakers doing there's a lot of independent work in india because i was reading an article i can't recall where but the you know the amount of uh independent filmmakers in India yeah. doing work. Like in New York, like everybody I know, there's an actor, if he's not an actor, he's a producer, if he's, I can hear you, if he's not, uh, this, is the, this is the beauty of having an open studio. <laughs> I told you, it's a lot of destruction <laughs> around us. Huh. Sometimes the cleaning guy goes and go with the vacuum. Mm. I had to tell him, man, we're just, you know, taping a, an interview here. Um, but anyway, uh, all the people that I know, uh, I know a lot of people from the actor's studio, but people, friends, uh, mentors, acting teachers, everybody is, uh, this is a, a craft that you have to be extremely devoted and you got to respect people and you got to treat people the way that you want to be treated. Exactly. Because everybody, you know, they, they, oh, they, they know the actor, oh, they know, you know this guy, oh, he's a great actor, he, you know. He can work it out. He's a team player. He's not about himself. You know, like people talk. Sometimes we don't realize that agents talk, directors talk, producers, they talk. Exactly. You know, so it's really important to just make sure that, you know, that whatever you do, you get along with everybody and, you know, you're a team player and you're willing to work That's right, yeah. really hard. So you're here in New York. This is where you want to be. Do you want to go to L.A. in the future? You want to stay here to try it out for a few years? What do you think is going to happen? To be honest, I think in terms of acting, you're kind of a nomad. You go wherever your job takes you. Right. So right now I'm happy being in New York because yes. I want to be in the, the hub of where I think theater. Right. So that's my background. But not only that, I think... New York's kind of quite similar to London. It's quite harsh and raw, and it's quite similar to London in that sense. And, uh, and maybe at some point, yes, definitely LA for television and film. Right. But right now, but right now, I'm, this is where you are. This is this is this is where I am. And I'm in, in, how do you compare uh, London with New York? Pros and cons. Is uh, it, I know it's, it's, it's a... Well, obviously, home is where the heart is, so I was born and raised in England, so I'm always going to be biased towards uh, London. England. Right. But, but honestly, with your objectivity, trying to see, okay, this is what it takes play there, this is exactly what's happening over here in New York. This is I think there's much more opportunity here in the United States, especially in New York uh -huh. and L.A. The opportunities mm -hmm. here. I think um, there's less opportunity, I think, in England. Yeah. Um, geographically here, it's much larger as well. Right. And I think... Um, now you see there's a copious amount of British actors that are doing well now. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Yeah, so British actors, Irish <laughs> actors, actors from Australia. You, we get actors from everywhere. Yeah. Right? I mean, it's like there's so many, I think, so many great actors. And that's the reason I want to be in the States. I think this, this is the prime. It's a land of opportunities. I truly believe that. So yeah. that's why I came. What about your mom and your dad? What did they say? When you take the, they say, okay, I'm dad, I want to go to New York. They flipped out? Or they no, just no, no. To be honest, like, I've got a very uh, supportive family. Good. And they were behind me all the way. And they said, as long as you've got your education and you've got your, there's something to fall back on. Right. Yeah, you've got a backup plan, we don't mind. So they've been very, very supportive and they're happy for what I'm doing and what I'm accomplishing. And they just want me to improve every day and, and fulfill my dreams. Yeah, acting, acting, acting. What do you love so much about acting? The thing I love about acting is the fact that I can actually 
become a chameleon. I can live somebody else's life. I can become another character. That's something you can't do every day. Right. That's what I love. The character in, work in yourself, Yeah, engrossing yourself into the character, becoming another person. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's what I love about acting. And it's something that I really, really enjoy. And I get a real true buzz from it as well. So. And you get great looks too. That, that, <laughs> it doesn't kill you. Come on, honestly, let's face it. Lorna said he's a very special guy, Cece. She's like <laughs> I said, she's very selective with her talent. Uh, she said, okay, let's bring it on. Because we, I, I do a lot of interviews here, and I sit down, and it's always a joy. It's always a learning experience to sit down with somebody else. Um, and you do your homework, you do your research, but until you sit here, you know exactly what it's going to be. And until you listen to the answers, and it's when you know exactly how things are going to exactly. be. Um, and I, I talk to a lot of actors, and some of them, they're very shy in front of the camera. You know, cameras are funny things to you. It's not that's that easy yeah. um, to open up, I guess. Um, but everybody, every actor is different. I think, you know, what we do is not normal. No. Um, and uh, it's, it's a craft. It's, it's a big, it's a huge sacrifice. It's a huge sacrifice because do. I think as an actor, you've got to be quite vulnerable. Right. You have to be open. You have to you allow have yourself to allow feel. Yourself to, to feel, to emote, and to be honest. And I think, you know, people are quite intelligent. They can see whether the person is being authentic. Right. Or they're being, as they say, fake or right. being right. not themselves. Right. So I think that, that's, that's why some, I find some people find it hard. But with me, I'm an open kind of guy. Good, 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 good. Yeah. Now, in terms of films, work, stage work, what kind of work turns you on? What kind of stuff inspires you? What kind of things drive you crazy? You know, when you see somebody, oh, my God, he was so good. She was so good. Like, what kind of actors, what kind of movies, what kind of work turns you on? I Artistically speaking. No, Artistically no, no, speaking. Not sexually, <laughs> We're not even go there. This is not, it's a private subject. But in terms of your, your soul, your spirit, what turns you on? What turns me on is I, I love dramas. Okay. I love crime dramas, especially. And recently, I've got a, I love watching independent projects. And there's a movie which I saw. It's called A Prophet with Tahir Rahim. Oh, the pro well, a prophet. A or prophet the pro with a prophet with a Tahir Rahim. It's uh -huh. based on a, a prison uh -huh. uh, uh, within France. Mm -hmm. it's a phenomenal movie. Oh, my husband seen that movie, and he uh, yeah, I have to check it out. It's phenomenal. Because he said it was phenomenal, phenomenal, Pho phenomenal. Phenomenal. Uh, it's very unique, and the acting was just outstanding. Okay. Pro films like that. I watch a lot of foreign films. Okay. Which I love. There's one which I saw, good, good. Bullhead, which I thought was amazing as well. Bullhead, who's in it? I Bullhead, I, I forget the actor's name, but it, was, it, it won a Kanza Film Festival Award. Okay. And obviously, there's, in terms of actors, Christian Bale is one of my oh, yeah. favorite actors. Yeah. I, I, I absolutely adore him. He's a good... He's Tom a, he's Hardy as well. I, uh -huh. I, think he's, I think he's good. Phenomenal. Yeah, what about the olders? I mean, those are guys Al Pacino, still young, man. Al Pacino, yeah, Al Pacino, Robert De Niro. Everybody's actor, but uh, <laughs> any other names? Come on. You know what it is? There is so many great actors. Shia there's so many. There's so I many. Th that where I'll do we start, name, man? Yeah, like Shia LaBeouf is another one, which I, I think is, is okay, great. Okay, okay. I, I like Gerard Depardieu. You Gerard, know, Gerard Depardieu, Depardieu, of course. It's oh, amazing. Man. Green, uh, Green Card, the film. Yeah, have you seen him in The Count of Monte Cristo? Yes, I have. And he was in the life of Pi as well. He's in the life of Pi, yes, and, and he was in Balzac, and he was in D'Antoni. And he was in. There's so many. Ah, uh, Camille Claudel. There's, that's a great movie that I always recommend uh, to actors to watch. It. Camille Claudel, okay. Gerard Depardieu, Isabella Adjani. Okay. It's a true story. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful French movie. Um, but there's so many great actors that you can get inspired that you can even learn exactly from and what about theater do you like to go to the theater much? yes i love uh I, I used to go to theater quite a lot in london so i saw miss saigon uh-huh i saw the wicked the wicked i, uh, I saw lion king uh-huh and uh, yeah I, I also i saw le miserable at the west end in london uh-huh uh -huh. yes I, that's kind of a regular thing for me in london was going to the theater yeah so i want to start pursuing that here now in new york and yeah of course it's a big thrill man it's, 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 it's a big thrill and you, you don't think get the experience it's every single theatrical experience is unique right in its own way right the performances and the way you feel so i uh, that's something that i really and admire. there's a lot of places that you can check in the city as we know there's so many i i have i know quite a few uh, directors, but there's a lot of great work taking place, not necessarily on Broadway, you know, like obviously everybody wants to be on Broadway, but there's a lot of wonderful